Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm doing a review here today of Juniper. Juniper was a watch for me today, and it didn't work. So you can see this here is a large green bar, actually. Every green bar, every bar in the 15 minute is green. 9.30, 9.45, 10 o'clock, 10.15. Look at this. Wow. So what did it do? Let's take a look. So first of all, gap down the night before. Closed in here. Night before about 27.74-ish. That's right. Yep. Open then this morning really down a lot. Okay. Open at 24.90. So here you have it. It opened. It rallied. And I did this. I did this and thought it looked like a good short, but it didn't have the follow through. Held the stop. Then it looked good. Then it looked good. Then it looked good. Then it looked good. And then boom, got stopped out here. Had the stop at 85. Even if you had given it more room, it wouldn't have mattered. It ended up popping here over 26. But I got taken out in this bar. So I took the loss. And sometimes you will have gaps that do not work in the direction of the gap. This was a good watch though today. I do believe this has potential for follow through, but it really depends where it closes on the day. Let's just take a look at this. This is a big bar here now in this though. Uh, really went well over $26. So after we got stopped out, I said, leave it, don't do anything else in it, be done with it. And now here it is. It's a huge, huge, massive green bodied bar. So every once in a while, you will have to take a loss Today I decided though to do a second trade and I made money in the second trade today and we'll go over that next. CL was the second watch, which I did not see actually the gap in the morning in the pre-market. So I rated the gap after the open, after someone in the room put it in the room and did a lane trade in this. Actually, this still looks like it's going here. I'm already out of this and it looks like it's gonna go to $63. This looks really good. So I took the loss in Juniper, could have stopped. It's been a good week. Usually do only one trade a day. I decided to rate this. This rated as a good gap. So when it's set up for the second time, I did it. I did not do the first aggressive entry in this. And some people still are in this uh, again, I'm all out, but it looks like it's going to 63. So I didn't get this first entry. Here it was, boom, dropped, fell, broke. I was watching the Juniper. Because I didn't see the gap in the morning pre-market, I couldn't have done this. But that's why it is important to find the gap in the morning. This had earnings late, and then the volume didn't come in till after 9 o'clock. So I missed this, didn't see it on the scanner. So a couple people in the room saw it and mentioned it later. So then we did it here. So we did it here. We had this nice move. Boom. Perfect exit on this for the morning. But if you still are in this, you are still in the full on trade, which was the second trade I called because the stop was all the way up here. So anyways, this looks like it is going to break the low. I didn't want to be in a, a, a trade too long. Took it right into the 10 o'clock period and got out. But this very well could go on and break and go to 63. If there's not doing anything wrong except for taking a little bit of time, looks like this is going to break into lunch. So did the one loss in Juniper, then did a positive trade in CL, which may bet the loss from Juniper and profit. And that is sometimes what you can do, but it's not what I usually do. What I usually do is one trade and stop. And usually the, the top pick that I look at worked, but today I didn't see this. Uh, let's see what time it actually. So this actually did have some movement here early, but it was earnings, but it was very low volume early in the morning. Here's where it started to get going into 9 o'clock, 9.15. You see the volume in these bars here? This is on the pre-market. And that's when some people then noticed it. So I'm happy that I had a good recovery today, made money, made money every day this week. It was a really strong week. And even if you had taken the loss today in Juniper, you still would have been up for the week trading with me because we made money every day. And I even made money today, so I had a good recovery. When you look to do something, you really need to have 100% conviction when you do it. You need to have the gap rating. You've got to have the setup. And you can't keep going back over something and over something over something. For example, I didn't do a second trade in Juniper. It didn't warrant it. This had the first move. May have been it. When I rated it and looked at the targets, I realized that it could have a secondary move. I didn't know if it set up or not. And then it did. And it held extremely well. 
Again, though, this is taking longer to break the low. So I already had gotten out of it, but this very well looks like it's going to do it. So the next target on this is 63, and there were some people in the room that were still in this. And I wish them luck. It looks like it's going to make it, and it could even break 63 today. So great week in the stock swoosh trading room. Just and a wonderful, amazing day today again today because I uh, did a trade that didn't work and had a great recovery and flipped it around very quickly. So my eye is just spot on this year, 2017, and I'll look to continue that into the remainder of the year. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, January 28th and 29th. If you want to learn my method, how I do this, how I rate gaps, how I take the entries, how I find the top pick daily, then you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com to sign up for the class this weekend. Today is the deadline. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.